hello everyone welcome to this channel and today we'll see about selecting related objects in Django now sometimes we need to preload a bunch of objects together so for that for example if I write products dot product dot objects dot all and I, if I save this and if I go back to my template and over here what I'll do I'll render product dot collection dot title also double braces I'll write product dot collection dot title okay now I save this and I go back to my browser if I refresh I'll just go back to my VS code I'll save this also now I'll go back to my browser now you can see it is taking some time over here so it's because there are so many queries which are being sent to database so the application is taking a lot of time because Django is sending thousand extra queries to database to read the collection of all these products okay so finally it has loaded now so what we can do we can instantly preload something from the database through a related select related statement so because we have asked for products Django is only going to create product table it is not going to query the related table unless we specifically instructed to do so so to do that we need to specify first so what i'll go i'll do i'll simply come over here and here after objects dot all what i'll do i'll write select related i'm sorry so i'll write select related okay now select related inside this what i'll do i'll preload the collection okay i'll specify the fields which we wanna preload so i'll i'll use collection okay now what it will do it will preload the collection table now next time when i upload when i go to my browser and i refresh it it will not take that much time all right so it has instantly it has done it okay so this has select related statement which we have used now if you go back to your sql tab you can see over here what it is doing it is first it is taking all these fields from the product table you can see stored product then after that it is taking from the collection table from the same product table it is taking the fields of collection from collection it is taking id title and featured and between the product and the collection there is an inner join okay so what happens when we use select related method django creates a join between our tables now we can also span relationship so let's say you want to uh, inside collection you want to see some other fields also for example if you have some collection or if you go back to your vs code if you have some collection and you want to see some other fields is also related to it so you can simply write double underscore and you can write some other field okay all right so like that you can do it so this is nothing but it is select related now we also have another method called prefetch related guys one thing you need to uh, understand over here is that select related is used when other end of relationship has only one instance like product is having one instance for example a collection can have many products but a product can be related to one collection so here we had assumed that the product is from one single collection so there is a one to one relationship for many to many relationship like we have promotions wherein the one and other end of relationship are has many objects for example promotions are having a promotion can be applied to multiple products and multiple promotion can be having can be uh, implied to one products for example if i go back to my product table over here here you can see collection is a foreign key okay whereas the promotion is a many to many fields all right so a, a single product can have many promotions it can have two promotions three promotions like that okay and but this particular product is belonging to one and only one collection so in that case we are using over here if i go so for one for single collection we are using select related for multiple prom things like promotions we use prefetch methods okay so for that purpose what we can do i'll delete this okay now over here we have prefetch methods okay so to preload the promotions we use prefetch method and for that purpose what we will do we'll write prefetch related okay so i'll write prefetch related and inside this i'll upload the all promotions so i'll indicate promotions okay now if i go back to my browser if i save this at first i have to render the 
कलेक्शन डॉट टाइटल ऑल्सो तो प्रोडक्ट डॉट टाइटल इज बींग रेंडर्ड ओके एंड इसको मैं हटा दूंगा यहाँ से आई सेव दिस गो टू माई ब्राउजर रिफ्रेश ओके नाउ यू गो टू योर एस यूल टैब नाउ द फर्स्ट वन यू कैन सी यू वही सेलेक्ट ऑल द कॉलम्स फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट टेबल ऑल दीज थिंग्स फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट टेबल एंड द सेकेंड थिंग ओवर यर इज दैट दे इनर ज्वाइन विट इन द प्रमोशन एंड द प्रमोशन आई डी सो यर यू कैन सी दैट ही इज सेंग फ्रॉम स्टोर प्रमोशन इनर ज्वाइन बिटवीन स्टोर प्रमोशन एंड स्टोर प्रोडक्ट प्रमोशन वेयर द प्रमोशन आई डी इज सो एंड सो सो दीज आर द प्रमोशन विच आर बीन अप्लाइड टू वेरियस प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर देयर राइट सो द फर्स्ट वन इज सेलेक्ट ऑल द कॉलम फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्ट टेबल एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव अनदर क्वेरी टू रीड प्रमोशन ऑफ दीज प्रोडक्ट्स ओके so you are reading uh, columns from promotion table and we have inner join between promotion and the product so django uh, reads these and populates all right now let's say you want to load all the products with their promotions and collections here what we want we want to read all the products with their promotions and collections okay so promotions will be prefetch related and uh, as i have told you that select related will be used for collections so i'll simply write select related and inside this i will write collections okay so i'll have to write it under quote so collection okay see cap yes. all right if i save this here you can uh, either write select related first or prefetch related last or uh, prefetch related first or select related last there is no issue in that case okay this dot all all right save this now go back to your collection this thing hello dot html and over here what you can do you can simply write collection title also so i'll write double braces product dot collection dot title okay save and then you go back to your browser okay good now now you come to your sql tab now here you can see the first one is saying that select all the columns and collect from the product table these things are being selected from the product and after that these things are being selected from the collection table all right and then there is a inner join between them the second one over here it says to read the promotions of all these products so all these promotions which are being there are being read through these queries okay now we have understood the concept let's do an exercise so let let us get the last five orders with their customer and items okay so to do that you can just try yourself or if you are not able to do that come back to me and see my solutions okay so here is the solution so you go back to your uh, vs code isko main cut kar deta hu okay now since uh, you want to get order of last five so we need to start with the order class so what we can do we'll have to first over here so i'll have to delete this and then here what i have to write i have to write order okay so i'll write order dot uh, objects okay now i'll use select related over here okay because we want to preload these orders with the customers so we can use select related and then we'll sort them by placed at in descending order so what i can do i can simply write select related okay select related and inside this i can write customer okay so i'll use quote i'll write customer okay now this is to be sorted out with the order by methods so i'll use order by method order by okay and inside this order by i'll pass placed at okay so it will use placed at and since we want to sort it in descending order so i'll use minus sign over here okay all right now last thing what we have to do we have to use python slicing syntax so i'll simply write is to 5 so it will give me first five products of the first five things which have been ordered okay so that's it so i'll save this and apart from this you go back to your uh, apart from this instead of products here you will have to change the key to orders okay and then you have to go to your template and over here here you have to write orders okay and here you have to write for order in orders 
ठीक है फॉर ऑर्डर इन ऑर्डर हेयर यू हैव टू रेंडर ऑर्डर डॉट टाइटल ओके सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टाइटल वॉट विल डू विल रेंडर द आई डी ओके सो आई राइट आई ऑर्डर डॉट आई डी एंड देन आई एल राइट कस्टमर नेम ऑल्सो सो आई एल यूज ऑर्डर डॉट सॉरी ऑर्डर डॉट कस्टमर अंडर स्कोर फर्स्ट नेम ओके फर्स्ट नेम और आई थिंक ऑर्डर डॉट ऐसा होगा ना नाउ सेव दिस एंड कम बैक हो भैया रिफ्रेश वी आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी थिंग बेसिकली आई एल हैव टू सेव दिस ऑल्सो ना सेव दिस नाउ गो टू योर ब्राउजर एंड रिफ्रेश या ग्रेट so it has sorted out the first it has given me the first five thing which we we wanted all right now what i can do now we should preload the item on these orders so here we we will use prefetch related okay because each order can have many items now what is the name of the field we going to query over here so just go to order class if i go to my order class oh okay so here you can see order class is having three fields placed at payment status and customer okay now if you see we don't have uh, item class over here but look at the order item if you go to an order item here you have the order okay now since it is a foreign order is a foreign key to the order class django going to create a reverse relationship by itself so we don't need to specify it okay so django going to create a reverse relationship and uh, uh, as per convention it is going to have a name called order item underscore set you can change it also but i don't want i have already told you in the previous class how to change it you can use the related name as so and so then you can change it but for now we are not going to change it so we going to we going to use it as it is so what we are going to do is here we have product dot objects i'll go to my pure dot py now product dot objects dot select related customers dot i'll use prefetch related okay uh, over here i will do dot prefetch related and inside prefetch related here you what you can do you can use order item underscore set so i'll write order item and dot underscore set okay i think this will be in turning letter okay what item underscore set something wrong is there all right theek hai what item underscore set okay now dot here you can use dot order by minus plus at then sorting the first five in descending order now you save this okay now you go back to your page you can see your page is basically instantly uploading okay now we have one extra query over here to load if you see if you go over here you can see there is one extra query over here okay so to load the item order item from the customer table from order id x y z you can see this these are the order id ids 4085137122 and 248 theek hai so basically now uh, we can see that one extra query over here to load these order items basically to load these order items what we can do uh, we can perform a last step like uh, i'll write i'll use the span relationships so what i'll do i'll write order item dot set underscore set and instead of i'll use two underscore okay and i'll write product okay so basically these are the this is the name of the target field now in the sql tab we have one extra query to read the product reference in these order items so this is all about the prefetch related and select related items right all right so thank you so much for watching me guys and i'll see you in next class take care